Science Park School today hosted a workshop organised by the Institute of Physics aimed at attracting girls towards degrees and jobs in physics. We welcome Jenny Willer, MP for Equality, alongside role models from the field of physics and past physics students. Science is not a geek thing. Science is not just about uh, people in lab coats uh, with sort of really bad haircuts. It's actually something that we can all be part of. And science is sometimes seen as boring and limiting. Um, and as Francis well said, something that you only do if you want to wear a, a lab coat and sit in a lab all day. Um, and there's a persistent and debilitating myth that girls don't do science and that somehow it's, it's not for them. Um, but looking around today and looking and seeing the role models, um, it just shows that it's just not true. It's not boring and it's not for, you know, just for boys either. Um, and outside of this room as well, we also have some absolutely incredible female role models. Um, there are um, increasingly more people taking maths and physics A level, but um, the numbers of girls are still pretty low. Um, and lots of teenagers, including some of the most brilliant female students, don't know about the amazing opportunities that are open up to them if they study maths and physics, and that's something we really need to, to tackle. Um, studying those subjects can, um, it often leads to the highest earnings, which I think a lot of people don't realise, and it can open um, doors to careers in business, journalism, technology, engineering, sort of pretty much anything that you can think of. Um, and if we can increase the number of girls that are taking up STEM subjects, um, we'll be giving people the opportunity to become inventors, creators of apps and researchers, but also managers, uh, fashion buyers, TV executives as well. So there's it really broad... We spoke to Dr Saunders and Dr Suze Kundu about the issues around gender and physics. So why do you personally believe that girls aren't enjoying physics? Well, we, we were talking earlier and sometimes I think it's about the way in which physics is taught. Uh, it's not just girls sometimes who don't enjoy it, boys as well find that it can be quite hard, or they think it's quite hard. And so I think that sometimes puts people off. Uh, I think it's not so much about not enjoying it, it's, it's whether or not they see it as something that they're going to find useful in their life and in their career. So would you sort of suggest that people um, make more careers into these and things so that people know what paths can take, what physics can take? Yeah, I think it'd be a really great idea to just get people that work in various industries or various institutions like the universities getting more involved with outreach with schools because I think teachers are under so much pressure as it is to teach the subject in an engaging manner. So for them and the careers advice is to keep up with the latest careers that are available and the transferable skills that you can get doing a degree in business. You know, or any STEM subject, I think it's, it's pretty tricky on top of all the work they already have to do. So collaboration, I think, is the key. Uh, do you think the way that um, people are advertising science now as it is, do you think it needs to be improved? I think so. I think people tend... I think there's an issue really about careers advice as much as about advertising, in that you need to see a whole range of things you might be able to do in science. It's yeah. not just about wearing a white coat and being in a lab. That might be great for some people, but it's you know, being involved in medical physics and you know, helping develop techniques for diagnosing disease, it's new energy sources, it's the climate, it's the environment, it's trains, you know, all the different things where science can be really, really helpful for you to get a career. And the, I'd say it opens up so many different opportunities for people. And that's really the message I think we need to get across. Um, as a country, are we suffering because not enough girls are taking the physics? Yeah, I, think, I think we are, because you know, the politicians have suddenly woken up to the fact that we need to have more um, sort of manufacturing industry, we need to make sure that we've got energy security, we need to be thinking about how we provide medicine for an ageing population, you know, all people like me, as we get older, and without having 50% of, you know, if we have 50% of the workforce turned off, we're going to suffer. Yeah. So we really do need girls as part of the overall workforce. So it's not about just girls, it's girls and boys together. But at the moment, girls aren't, aren't there and we really need you. I went to give a talk in an international conference and I was presenting my first paper and I was the last slot of the last day and it is a tough slot anyway and I just remember tottering onto stage in my smart skirt suit and my heels and I felt an audible sigh because everybody saw me and just went oh and that was really tough for me to deal with and I won them over in the end with all the science and everybody was full of relevant questions and interesting questions but I felt awful feeling that I had to prove myself differently just because I was a woman. I wasn't the youngest one there, there were people younger than me. But How do you propose that we could solve this problem? Oh, well, one of the things we're doing 
is actually having events like this. And we're trying to learn a little bit more from you as well about what turns you off. Because it's a long time since I was at school, it's a long time since I studied physics, it's the same actually for most of us who are in senior positions and things like professional bodies. So we want to listen to you and talk to you about what would make a difference to you actually taking up a career. And then we're going to try and capture some of that, what we might call good practice, about how the school helps you and supports you, how your parents do, how you see the world, and then try and sort of uh, take that forward as a, a set of, of perhaps initiatives or interventions in schools in future. So at the moment, it's very much at the early stages, and we're really, really interested in your views. Why do you believe the value of the schools? Because it's fun. Because ultimately, we will be missing a huge, you know, lack of half the population if we don't make sure that girls do physics. If they were to drop it entirely, that would be devastating. For the country, you know, for, for scientific progress. Um, but also, kind of as a girl, I think we have enough to deal with and we have enough to kind of prove ourselves about. And it really shouldn't be like that, you know. Physics is it's really good fun. <laughs> it's really good fun. You know, you get to make and break stuff and you basically get to learn how everything works. The event was a great success and is hopefully the first stage in opening doors for girls to, to pursue a further interest in physics.